now let us enter into fault analysis okay basically fault in the sense why we have to calculate fault analysis okay why we have to calculate fault current or why why we have to analyze faults if we see for example one network is there okay maybe generating station is there after generating station transmission line will be there after transmission line for example if fault occurs for example short circuit fault okay so under that condition what my circuit breaker has to do circuit breaker has to isolate the faulty section okay so that circuit breaker capacity may be braking capacity or making capacity altogether rated capacity of the circuit breaker which should be designed by maximum fault current okay so we have to analyze basically we are analyzing faults or fault magnitudes of currents to find out the capacity of the circuit breakers okay anyway after that let us see means how faults can be classified okay faults can be classified into open circuit fault okay basically in power system means for example if uh, three lines are going like this for example because of something if it is broken in the sense unnecessarily if circuit breaker is open okay so open circuit is also a fault and for example if this wire has fallen on the ground short circuit is also a fault okay so in power systems open circuit for example if three wires are going if one of the wire is broken under that conditions also is a fault or two wires are broken under that conditions also is a fault in the sense open circuit is also a fault and short circuit is also a fault okay basically in open circuit means one wire can be disconnected open circuit or two wires can be disconnected but in gate exam they are not focusing at all here so let us think of short circuit faults in short circuit faults i can divide this into symmetrical faults and unsymmetrical faults and symmetrical faults now what is meant by symmetrical faults in the sense for example if three wires are going abc phase are going <coughs> okay so out of these three wires for example if some fault occurs because of that fault if three phases have similar conditions in the sense fault magnitude current of uh, magnitude of current of phase a and phase b and phase c if these three are experiencing the same conditions under that conditions why to analyze these three let us analyze only one wire okay one phase that is going to be single phase equivalent circuit so symmetrical in the sense all these three phases should experience the same conditions that is symmetrical faults for example what is unsymmetrical faults for example three wires are going one wire has fallen on the ground okay so this wire this particular phase wire is experiencing different condition and these two are experiencing altogether in different condition okay so under that condition we are going to call that as unsymmetrical faults okay so in symmetrical faults what are the types of faults okay so for example triple l fault okay so all these three lines are short circuited short circuited under that conditions all individual phases of course dc offset will be different immediately after this we are going to discuss about dc offset value and all except the dc offset okay means in our magnetic inertia of transformer also we analyzed it the same but anyway except dc offset like you know all these three phases will experience same conditions so that is going to be triple l fault or these th three lines can be short circuited with the ground so l l l g fault okay so this is going to be symmetrical means that all these three phases will experience the same conditions now let us think of unsymmetrical faults okay so what is unsymmetrical fault for example if one line is grounded unsymmetrical okay because the remaining two lines are healthy okay under that conditions out of total like you know in lg fault can i use single phase equivalent circuit no okay because one line is grounded remaining two lines are intact only for example let me think of ll fault okay so if i think of ll fault out of these three lines two are connected remaining third is proper only or i can think of llg fault okay so these two lines for example this is healthy only normal only intact only these two connected with the ground okay so this is going to be the classification now let us define what is meant by short circuit okay for example if i have a generating station or like you know induced voltage and here let me have impedance okay so for example this is voltage and this is impedance 
okay and uh, as we discussed in our previous section also most of the times reactance value will be very high compared to resistance so most of the times we may consider only inductance effects only but anyway dominating is going to be inductance okay for example if short circuit happen here short circuit happen here if short circuit happen here how much will be the magnitudes of currents are tremendously high okay how much will be the voltages are going to be tremendously less okay and the moment it is inductive nature is more what is the power factor of the faulty conditions is going to be very high okay power factor is going to be very less power factor angle is going to be more means that what is the reactive power demand is going to be more okay so what is short circuit short circuit can be defined as means for very less voltages very huge currents okay power factor is going to be very less our reactive power demand is going to be very high because x value will be high compared to resistance value means we have seen in transformer x by r ratio is high compared to transmission line and compared to transformer my x by r ratio of synchronous is going to be tremendously high so altogether synchronous transformer transmission line combined is going to be reactance is going to be high so reactive power requirement is going to be high okay so this is our all about short circuit now basically only upon this only just definition we got some problems in gate okay after this anyway we are going to solve okay now let us think of like you know symmetrical faults in symmetrical faults as we discussed like you know about short circuit already we analyzed okay now let us analyze symmetrical faults okay so what is symmetrical in the sense if three phases are there except dc offset all these three phases should experience the same conditions under that condition single line equivalent is sufficient for example single line equivalent network theory you know okay so in network theory means out of like you know complete network complete network can be transformed into a single voltage source in series with single terminacy equivalent okay so in our power systems also our complete system if i can convert into terminacy equivalent for example this is going to be terminacy voltage and this is going to be z terminal this is going to be z terminal okay so what is this z terminal it is not a simple impedance it is representing the complete system means terminacy equivalent of terminacy theorem of network theory should be remembered here that's it okay so this is going to be terminacy voltage okay so terminacy voltage in this obviously base value of voltage are rated voltage only rated voltage only okay under pre fault condition for example under pre fault conditions for example if load current is not there okay means for example let me think of i have generating station transmission line okay so here load may be there now if you apply load flow analysis for example my generated voltage can be 1 per unit okay this can be maybe 0.98 per unit my voltage at this bus at this bus but is it that matters for 1 per unit to 0.98 per unit no so most of the conditions what do we do is pre fault conditions pre fault conditions we assume most of the conditions it is not loaded of course along with loaded conditions also how to calculate post fault current and all we will see okay anyway for example if i don't consider the difference between 1 per unit and 0.9 per unit all buses will be at 1 per unit only okay so for example this is going to be 1 per unit or rated voltage now this is going to be z terminal this z terminal as i said is equivalent to complete system okay for example if fault occurs here short circuit fault occurs here okay so how much is going to be fault current if okay so fault current if is going to be base value of voltage or rated voltage divided by z terminal z terminal okay now how much is base value of current base value of current base value of current are rated current because means we discussed in transformer per unit quantities also base value of current are rated current will be same okay so base value of current is how much v base by z base okay simple very simple let me calculate fault current in per unit okay so how much is going to fault current per unit fault current actual value divided by base value okay so what is fault current is going to be vr by z terminal divided by what is i base v base by z base okay so v base equal to v rated or not then cancel out 
okay so this is going to be 1 by zth zb so this is going to be 1 by zth per unit per unit okay for example if i multiply here with rated voltage if I multiply here with base value of voltage, because base value of voltage equal to rated voltage, into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay. So this is going to be MVA base or not. Yes. This is going to be MVA short circuit conditions or not. Yes. So I can say that IF per unit or MVA because like you know V R V base if I cancel out again same equation will come. So IF per unit or MVA under short circuit conditions okay is going to be 1 by ZTH per unit okay so just by this also questions came it's a small thing just by this also questions came forget about all okay IF per unit equal to 1 by ZTH per unit now if you compare this with SCR short circuit ratio of alternator how much is SCR or how much is like you know at that time short circuit current is going to be 1 by excess per unit we have seen that we have seen that so let us solve problems upon this.